Hello, Tavadishi, and welcome to another look at a Hearts of Iron 4 mod. You guys know that whenever I cover Hearts of Iron 4 on this channel, modifications specifically, I always pick the best ones. I don't go for anything in between. I pick ones that I think are actually worth your time playing. In the past, I have, of course, selected Kaiser Reich. Um, I've selected um, a few others that I'm they're not actually coming to mind. I believe Millennium Dawn. The one I want to show you today is called Red Dusk. Now, what is Red Dusk about? Well, do you guys remember that time when the Soviet Union just collapsed and Gorbachev was, of course, voted in to be uh, the next premier? And there was a little coup that happened. The Kremlin was surrounded by Soviet tanks or pro-Soviet tank forces, and there was a chance that that entire new democratic system was going to be overthrown so that the Soviet system could return and the Warsaw Pact could also return. Well, now you can. That's exactly what Red Dawn is about, is what would happen to the world if that was actually something that occurred? You know, how would the rest of the world change? So in this case, guys, Gennady Yanayev is going to be the premier of the new Soviet Union. And the democratic system under Gorbachev is going to be completely eliminated. The Warsaw Pact, the Soviet Warsaw Pact, which included countries uh, such as Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Romania, all coming back under control of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. And you might ask yourself, well, how would this change the world? Well, it's interesting because over here, what happens to South Africa? Well, because of this new fear of communism returning, the South Africans have had a coup with an apartheid supporter. That's right. And this apartheid supporter is called Konstant Viljoen, and he essentially wants to bring back um, the apartheid system, and he has a military government, um, a military dictatorship, really, where him and his party control everything. So it's sort of a South Africa if it had never gotten rid of apartheid, or more specifically, a South Africa that has gone back to apartheid in an effort to avoid any potential communist fears. Also, if we go over here to the United States, the famous Dan Quayle wins. And for those of you that don't know Dan Quayle, I could make like an entirely separate video about this guy. He might be like the dumbest politician in the world. He was vice president uh, for a long time. But in this case, um, I believe that George Bush dies and Dan Quayle becomes the new president. Um, he would have definitely been an unpopular president, but if you just want to have a laugh and like see something funny, just go to Google and type in Dan Quayle quotes or just go on YouTube and type in Dan Quayle funny moments. He is definitely not somebody that we would have, we would want to, would have wanted to have as president, but nonetheless, it's a really, really interesting perspective of what would happen if he became president. Of course, you can also play as Li Ka Fu. Now, I don't know nearly as much about this, but I do know that um, uh, essentially uh, he is going to be the leader of Vietnam. Um, of course, you guys know that Vietnam had a war with Cambodia to get rid of the Khmer Rouge. And it looks like Li Ka Fu is going to be um, one of the potential um you know, sort of focuses you can go towards. Um, again, I haven't really read much through here, um, but I think that that one's worth looking at. Of course, we've got the famous Saddam Hussein. You could play as him in the Republic of Iraq. And we've got Slobodan Milosevic, who eventually became a war criminal, a Serbian war criminal. But again, because the Soviet Union has not been overthrown in this Red Dawn mod, um, essentially... That means that also the Soviet government in Yugoslavia continues, and it's going to continue under Slobodan Milosevic. Now, you can actually decide over time down this tier whether you want to stick with the Soviets or whether you want to go fully nationalist. Um, it's sort of one of the many options you have. But today we're just going to take a look at Yanayev. So I can show you guys the actual tree here. Um, the tech tree, as it were, for the Soviets and what you can expect. You can see you've got a really cool start here of the red sun shines. It had been less than 10 years from that fateful day, August 19th, 1991, when those tanks rolled into Moscow. Nobody knew that we would be changing history. Nobody understood the gravity of the situation at hand of the unfolding events that would change the very course of Russia's past. You can read the rest of it, but again, you've got a massive amount of military forces here. It looks like the Romanians are still um, democratic here, um, but I guess you're probably going to get a chance to overtake these states and bring them back into the glorious 
Warsaw Pact, Estonia and Latvia are also independent. So yeah, you're definitely going to get that chance. But if we just jump right here uh, to the national focus, you can see the start is going to be the morning after, which of course lets everybody know that the Soviet Union has returned and you better prepare yourself. If we jump over here to the actual um, military factories and stuff, you can see that all of this has been updated to... Um, to show uh, late 1980s, early 1990s era weaponry. I really love that. So main battle tanks from the 1980s, the 90s. I love when mod creators go through the actual difficulty of getting these new images for, of course, these um, these up-to-date um, military equipments. I think that's just fantastic, really. And if we go over here to research slots, you're going to see that the research slots also reflect that. We definitely want to get that AN-94. The days of the AK-74 or AK-47 are behind us. We need to advance slowly but steadily into the future. If we go to air power, you can also see we've got the famous SU-39s, all that fun stuff. And if we go to industry, things are fairly straightforward, essentially what you would have in the base game. But again, the manufacturing is of a modern nature. It's not that old school manufacturing. It is of a modern nature, although as you can see in this particular case, they haven't really changed the icons. Nonetheless, I think it's absolutely fabulous um, so far what they've done here. I actually wanted to take a look. Let's go really quickly to the artillery pieces. And again, look at these wonderful artillery pieces. Uh, we've got wonderful towed artillery, but it's of a modern nature. Armor, of course, the T-55s, uh, the BMP-3s, the T-84s, so many different focuses of this particular time period. And I think it's going to make for a really, really cool gameplay arc. Um, now, there you go. Another thing I love about this particular mod, it's got a global news sort of update. So instead of just having the basic message of like, here's what's happening around the world, it's presented as sort of like a newspaper article. And I don't know, but especially when you're playing like sort of early 90s, late 80s stuff, I love those like those newspaper articles. It's just, it brings you back to that time period. But before internet was really mainstream and everybody had it, uh, it was really a time where, you know, like 99% of people were going to be communicating, um, you know, via letters. They were going to be communicating via reading newspapers. Yes, internet technically existed, but it was not even close to being something that was widespread. Um, and there we go. New morning, new millennium. And you can actually, if you guys want to stop and just read this, the actual storyline, much like Kaiserreich, is really well done. You could tell that they really took a lot of time to consider how this would progress and how it would change the world around us. Of course, here we will have to reassess the state of the Soviet Union now that we are back in control. We'll need a full report of all departments in the economy, including a full report of where the enemies of the state now are. Man, and you know that's going to lead to some interesting things. Now, I want to be very clear here. Um, if you're just looking at this and you're initially like, wait, that doesn't seem like a lot of options um, for national focus. Keep in mind that much like Kaiserreich, as you get to the end of the initial national focus trait, um, there are going to be other options that are going to pop up, a whole bunch of other options. So it's not like you just have this seat. It's already starting to open up, as a matter of fact, administrative reforms or economic reforms. And we are slowly but surely going to be going down, and it's going to increase. And you can already see down here, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but there is an option for Yanayev's resignation, the current um, premier, and that is going to lead to a new leader of the Soviet Union. Who knows? Perhaps even a new Stalin you know, anything is possible in this particular situation. It also goes to show you the sort of butterfly effect of things happening in the world, because I think that this particular mod does a great job of showing how other countries would be affected by if the Soviet Union didn't fall, namely South Africa. You know, South Africa, despite getting rid of apartheid uh, four years before this particular situation, um, if the Soviet Union continued, there is a good chance that nationalists within the South African government um, or within South Africa as a whole would have taken over or would have tried to do a coup. And that's exactly what happens here. General Billion has begun a coup and he's trying to bring South Africa back to what it was. In fact, we even have the old South African flag here. Um, so they've really gone out of their ways to reflect that. And despite that, 
it also shows the political ideology in the country at the time. You know, apartheid is a thing of the past, and there are a lot of left-leaning groups. And in fact, the socialists here under Piet Patgieter uh, are almost 35% of the country. These new nationalists only make up about 55% of the country if you mix both of the nationalist parties. And all of the socialist, communist, left-wing parties are outlawed. So it is a true military dictatorship. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I think it would be quite an interesting road to go down as a play style. There you go. Once again, Ethiopia launching that offensive. Uh, but so far, I've kind of played around with some of the other countries. And I will say that I would recommend not jumping onto the smaller nations, if that makes sense. Um, make sure to, um, you know, stick with the larger, the six choices you have here. They're really going to lead to more interesting stories. Of course, over time, they may improve the mod, but for now, those six seem to be the best to play with. And as you can see, my goodness, getting rid of Mandela. Talk about a Mandela effect. That's going to be one of the goals of this new South African government is getting rid of such a strong potential leader as Nelson Mandela and even that is going to have massive repercussions around the world. You can see, as usual, wars are taking off all around Africa. And in fact, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken here, we've got the People's Republic of Angola and we've got UNITA with Jonas Savimbi. We've got a, we've got a video up right here, right now of um, Angola 1986 on the channel. Make sure to check that out. But it's a good description of how things are going. Um, in fact, it also looks like other things have changed. So, for instance, Spain is now a kingdom under NATO. Um, very interesting. I haven't jumped on every single one of the countries, but you could see that they absolutely have changed um, in a number of different ways. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see some more interesting Hearts of Iron 4 mods, or if you want a Let's Play version of this one, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Again, I always like to show you guys the best mods for Hearts of Iron 4, and I would definitely put this one up there. Take care, folks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way.